but I don't want anybody getting hurt. Home is that way. That way looks like a disaster. Okay. good? So we have this giant storm. So 4th of July holiday up at the lake is in five days and the budget boat still doesn't work. It only lasted an hour and a half before the engine broke. And then I tried to fix it on the last video myself and that also failed. So now I'm resorting to buying a rebuilt long block. So I got on eBay and I found a place that sells these and turns out they're about 30 miles away. So I'm just gonna go pick it up. I'm determined to get this thing to run. So I'm taking a sick day from work. I'm gonna go pick this thing up. All right, made it there and back in the old truck, 102 degrees, no air conditioning, but got it shrink wrapped. Came with a gasket set. We've got a one year warranty. This feeling makes me itch and I want out of this. If we run, will I find my fingerprints? My girl wants some jewelry, so I get her. Got the new engine in here unwrapped. It looks nice, but uh, it's basically missing everything. So all the accessories, Valve cover, lifter cover. I'm gonna have to move everything over from the old engine. So here's a problem I did not foresee. Old engine has a two-piece rear main seal, and new engine, they come with a one-piece rear main seal. And that's good, that's better seal, but the flywheel's different. So this flywheel won't work. So I ordered one off of eBay. The guy shipped it yesterday and said it should be here in two days, which is the day I'm supposed to go up to the lake. Seems like that's a recurring theme around here. I'm always behind. Got the engine full of oil, filter on. I've got our zinc additive in here to help break in those lifters. One trick you can use if you don't have a oil priming setup, cut the end off of an old flywheel flathead screwdriver. Stick her down in the distributor hole there. And there we go. Run it like this for a couple minutes and... I've had the motor hanging from the hoist since yesterday, just waiting on that flywheel. So that's the only thing I need. The van is loaded up and ready to go. So once that flywheel shows up this morning, got everything laid out here. We'll get the coupler on and then take off to the lake. Everybody's already up at the lake. I'm just sitting here hitting refresh, waiting for that FedEx truck to show up. I hope it shows up. I just got the message that it's delivered. There it is. Okay. Let's see if it actually fits. That looks like it. engine that's not ticking away and we got 50 psi of oil pressure cam should be broken in lifters should be broken in now it's time to head to the lake sea trials number two and it's the fourth of july so let's go I intended to come up here and show you guys that the boat was good to go with this new engine, but the, uh, the starter immediately died. Got it off the trailer, got it over here, and uh, starter 
just bit the dust. So uh, JT doesn't know it. He's not up here this weekend, but I just stole the one off his pontoon. Same engine, so thank you, JT. We're gonna try this one out. Yeah, it's always something. What a pain. Also, it's about 6,000 degrees out here, if you couldn't tell, but uh, it's okay. Okay. Why you not start? Been out here for about an hour trying to get this thing to run. Uh, idle for a second and then just die. What's up? I found why it uh, won't run right. You get it running? No, but I found the problem. I have a piece of RTV, a giant blob of RTV sticking out of the fuel filter. I think what this is from, the fuel sender, I sealed it with RTV because it's an old tank and it leaks at the top. <laughs> Wait, what the f You see that? I just took the hose off. Pull that out. Because I'm plugging the fuel line with my... Oh yeah. Now for today's goal, we're gonna take both Cody's boat and the budget boat. We're gonna put some miles on the budget boat's new engine. We're gonna try and get at least 50 miles on it today and maybe make a couple stops along the way. I think we sucked something up into the, the filter again, or it's blocked at the pickup in the tank. Oh, oh sorry. Oh yeah, dry. It's dry. <sighs> Can you go to the front and see if you hear air bubbling in the uh, gas tank? Yeah. Yes, I hear bubbles. Does that mean it's clear? It's clear for the moment, at least. Okay, let's try that. Let's see. Yeah, I remember I've got video of JT having to blow in the uh, old jet ski, blowing crap through. So, it's a good trick. We got 50 PSI of oil pressure, no knocking. It likes to run about 3,000 RPM, 22 miles an hour with the new 17 pitch prop. I didn't mention this yet. I've got the name of the boat on the side, so Booty Hunter. And that's because when we first got this boat 10 years ago, one of our friends named it Booty Hunter as a joke. But it's bad luck to rename a boat, all right? Bad luck. Bad luck. Buried treasure, not what you guys are thinking. Subscribe. <laughs> 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 So after that quick pit stop, we're gonna try and get further across the lake with the budget boat. We're trying to get some miles on this new engine, probably end up about 20 miles away from home. Alright guys, we've made it uh, 25 miles so far. Only broken down a couple times. We're at uh, some beach. I don't know where. Say hi. Yeah. Everybody say hi, hello. We got Cody's boat here in case we break down. We got this storm. It's to the north of us. We're trying to avoid. No, <laughs> Everybody's worried about the storm here. It's north of us, but that's the way we've got to go back to get home. So we've got to go this way, go north, and 
Oh, 15, 20 miles back that way. Yep, so the wind, uh, the wind just showed up. Now we're getting the little white caps. If you're heading to any of the lakes for the weekend, Broken Bow, Lake Texoma, I'm looking at some storms for Sunday and Monday. If you're going to be out on the lake, if you can hear thunder, make sure to have somewhere that you can go inside. What do you think we should do? I don't know, you ever uh, felt hail in your face at 30 miles an hour? No, I've not felt hail on my face. Well, life is all about new experiences. <laughs> The question is, is it better to wait the storm out, possibly get struck by lightning, or head out into the storm, also possibly get struck by lightning? That's a tough call. <laughs> Should you go hide in the trees with the lightning? No. Should you hide in the boat with no cover in the lightning? No. Should you just stay in the water and dive under if lightning's coming? That's what I do with bees. That's what you do with bees? <laughs> All right, so the last thing we've got to do is get home. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we screwed up, y'all. Hey, the automatic bilge pump works. These guys over here, they were rafted up and their anchors started slipping, so they're all three rafted up together and they're trying to re-anchor, so they've got their own disaster going on. It's sunny where we're going. Home is that way. That way it looks like a disaster. Rain now, and it's a big old fat rain. Just started. Becky down here, <laughs> she's got the, <laughs> the towels. Oh, Y'all okay? Man. Now the storms are moving north, right to us. We're gonna leave the yellow boat here. They said hail's coming. Because hail and lightning are coming directly for us, we're gonna load up in Cody's boat and get everyone to a marina a mile away and wait out the storm there. And we're leaving the budget boat behind because I don't trust it to get the girls to safety, even though it's only a mile away, which is pretty sad. Son of a man. All right, good luck, booty hunter. What is it? We're good. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the right choice to leave that there. Taking refuge at a marina. We're waiting for the storm to pass. Got Nate and Cody over here helping a wakeboard boat that just came in. That's nice. I don't know. We don't know what to do. That's that's the problem. Part of me makes I want to make a run, but I don't want anybody getting hurt. It's almost like we should make a run for it because everything's currently to the south of us, but it's moving to the north. So we could take off, hang around the point. And for the next 15 miles, it comes over the top of us, which would not be good. But it also says storms until 2 a.m., so we can't just stay on this gas dock <laughs> until 2 a.m. The booty hunter yeah, no. is around this point just on the beach, getting battered around. We got these poor guys up here. Yeah, they can't figure out their alarm. They can't figure their alarm out. Things are not going well. <laughs> We've been waiting on this gas dock for hours, waiting for the storms to pass, and finally we're seeing a gap in the storms. So now David is driving a hundred mile round trip by land to come pick the girls up by car. The boys and I are gonna go and see if the budget boat is still anchored up after the storms, and if so, we're gonna get it and try and shoot the gap to 20 miles back home before the next round of storms hits. It's gonna be terrible footage, but uh, okay. All right guys, the plan we've come up with, we're gonna go try and get the booty hunter and head back. We think there's a break in the storms, from what we can tell. This is uh, Blair Witch footage. <laughs> Blair Witch footage. Let's say bye to the ladies. They're over here on the dock. Uh, David's coming to pick the girls up. Bye. I'm trying to find the damn booty hunter. Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. Well, that's step one. So I'm going to have to lead with the map. Yes. 
and because I might break down, yes. we're gonna get the anchor rope ready to be a tow rope. So if something happens, I'll flash my anchor light if we're, something's going on, and we might have to get a tow. Y'all got life jackets. I'll pull this anchor up. Yeah. Oh, uh, you can pull that anchor because we got a, this rope up here still. Battery on, okay. Put that back. So when you're done, do this and kind of get it ready to be a tow line instead of this disaster. We'll keep it up here. We gotta get a tow. We got that ready. Don't let us down. <laughs> Budget boat. All right, I'll let you run. Run our map. All right, off we go, guys. We're getting beat up by waves pretty bad on this first part of the journey, but Nate's guiding us around the point of the lake where hopefully the ride will be better. All right, boys, I doubt you can hear or see anything, but we're running across the big part of the lake. We got Nate navigating, and it's raining. It's hitting me in the forehead, but we're making okay speed. Cody's still behind us. What mile an hour are we making now? 29. 29. All right, we'll stick with that for a minute. Oh, the rain stings. Nice work. My face is numb. Your face is numb because you have no windshield, so no you're just getting I am pelted a windshield. on your phone. Nate, nice job navigating. No problem. Did did great. Pitts, you're storing sunglasses from the rain, and the budget boat didn't let us down when we needed it, so that's good. I'm sure tomorrow when we go to dock it, the fuel tank will clog up and it'll die again. It's like it's like the boat that lets you down all the time, but when you needed it. It decided not to. It's like Rudy. He's not a good football player, but like, he's got heart. Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you all in the next one.